Alright, so it looks like my Zap app is fully synced and good to go. Um, and if we look here under the wallet section, that deposit I initiated during sync uh, has been credited to my wallet. So I can click here and view in more detail. Uh, we got 10 confirmations. Today's date's Jan 16, so that looks good. And I received just over 2 testnet Bitcoin. So all this looks good, and I have everything I need now to start adding contacts to my contacts list within Zap. So I'm going to head over to the contacts list. Uh, this looks pretty lonely. I have zero contacts, but not for long. Uh, so contacts in Zap are really straightforward, should be familiar to most. Uh, very similar to like Facebook friends or the contacts list on your cell phone. You have a contacts list within Zap. You're free to add or remove anyone from your contacts list. Contacts are the people that you send and receive money with. Uh, and you send and receive money with contacts that are online. Um, so pretty straightforward. I'm going to now go to the internet and go to yalls.org which is one of my favorite contacts to add on the Lightning Network. It's an awesome site. Shout out to Alex Bosworth. And the way that Y'all's works is really, really simple. Uh, people can create content, people can read content, and it's all powered by the Lightning Network. So I'm going to click on an article someone wrote. And to continue reading this article, I have to pay one penny worth of testnet Bitcoin. So I'm going to click continue reading. Y'all's is going to generate a payment request for me, and it's got some peer information at the bottom. So if I were to try and pay this payment request, knowing that I have zero contacts, let's see what happens. So I'm going to copy this, head over to pay, paste it in. We can see it's 100 Satoshis of Testnet Bitcoin. Uh, we're on the Lightning Network. This would be a Lightning payment. And I click pay, and immediately it's unable to find a path to destination. Now, why is that? That's because we don't have any online contacts, right? We need to first start adding some contacts like yalls.org depositing some Bitcoin onto the Lightning Network, and then we can start making payments and receiving payments. So what I need to add y'alls.org is the pub key and the host, public key and the host address. Um, also no, is just this information down here. It's not very complicated. I can just click here to copy. Um, and then I'm going to head over to Zap. I can click Add, see the Add form. Um, and then I can search for whoever I want. So I'll just paste in the y'alls information. I get no suggestions from Zap. Um, but there's a form where I can manually collect, connect below, excuse me. So I'm just going to paste in the information. And then down here, I can choose how much Bitcoin I would like to deposit um, in my connection with y'alls. Um, so I can, it's just like a debit card, like depositing money in this relationship so that we can send and receive money with each other. So it could be 0 0.05 BTC or 0 0.1 I'll keep as BTC. And I can just hit submit. And we see something's happening. There's a little spinner here. We can exit. Um, and something's loading. So Zap is doing some stuff behind the scenes, some fancy things. But it should only take a few seconds. And hopefully y'alls is added as a pending contact. So there we go. That was pretty well timed. So y'alls is pending. 02 ECA, which matches up here. Um, and pending just means that there's behind the scenes a Bitcoin transaction uh, that needs some confirmations, which we can view in details if you're into that sort of thing. This will link you to an explorer. So awesome. Uh, as soon as we get some confirmations, y'alls will be a contact in our contacts list that is online, and we can start sending payments to y'alls and paying for some articles. So uh, I will be back as soon as y'alls is a contact that's online and we get some comps.